Hi guys, it's David Kaufman Stone. Welcome to our booth, Worldvex 2022. So this is uh, our regular tradition. We do this uh, every year except for the pandemic period where we did not have it for obvious reasons. But now that I'm here, I'm so excited to show you what I've got. So let's start here on this row so that it's like uh, somehow there's some logic. Okay, so the upper rack over here, you have some stones for uh, exterior cladding. This is good for walls. You can use it for water features. So this is actual slate. So if you look up close, you can actually see the textured effect. So it has that tactile experience. It really feels like it's got a, it's really from nature. So it's like you're bringing nature into your house. So it's kind of like on the gray tone. So each one of these, as you can see, is produced by gluing together pieces of different kinds of stone. And it is assembled into a, like a jigsaw, where it all links together like that. So that when you put it all together, it's like uh, one entire piece. So it's got that seamless, monolithic-like effect. So that is something very nice. So imagine, it's going to be something like you're on a resort, you're in Bali. I guess that's the effect that you will have when you do this. So some people use it for exterior cladding. Other people use it for a water feature. So this here, we call it serrated. So you can see, imagine if it's like all in a row, then you put water coming down. So it's like a waterfall. And it's like you can hear the sound of the droplets. And it's also good for feng shui. So if you believe in feng shui, you need to have that water feature. So that is, uh, this is what you call the wall, the textured wall panels. So let's go to the next section here. So these are our translucent on excess. Okay, so as you can see, there's so many, but I'm only gonna show you four because this is too much. But this is something, it's just everyone loves it. Look at that. It looks like ice, right? So these are actual pebbles that are put together in a resin-like uh, casing and it comes in slabs. So it's really nice. As you can see, my arms are so fit because that's my job. I'm, uh, I'm able to do bicep curls. You want to see it? Look. One, two, okay. One hand, because more one hand. So this is called uh, light yellow onyx. As you can see, the light can shine through. Also comes in uh, big slabs. So you can get it like in 60 by 60, 60 by 120, 60 by two meters. And the price will be in about 15 to 17,000 pesos per square meter. You can use it for a countertop. You can use it for an accent wall. Same thing with this. Same, it's just a different color tone and there's a different color tone but more or less it's the same this is like a yellow version and then there is a honey version so you can see it's like wow i mean it looks so expensive only fifteen thousand to sixteen thousand pesos but it looks like a million dollars you have this in your house it's like you better be serving champagne because you're gonna look so rich so vicky bello would, uh, in fact, I'm sure he has this all over. It's used by Calma, it's used by Nazareno, it's used by Loxin, everyone. Uh, Ivy, Almario, all the top uh, design stars have used it. So this here is called Honey Onyx. So, of course, you can see it has a bit of a deeper tone. So it's much more sort of uh, luxurious. So this is something you might put with other materials like a black accent. You can have kamagong, you can have like a wenge, stainless steel, brass, all of those things. It can be for a bar counter, kitchen counter, or backsplash. Okay, so that's the onyx. So let me just remind you. So this is the slate. Prices are 3,500 to 4,500 per square meter. These onyxes here are around 15 to 17,000. Of course, if you go for white, we're talking about 22 to 25 but then uh, we're not showing you that today uh, maybe in another area here so let's now go to it's getting a little bit jumbled up 
But this is our proprietary, I like to use the word proprietary. This is our lamb wood, okay? So lamb wood is a composite wood. It has, it's the only one with the natural vein patterns in the market. So as you can see, there's like a, uh, this one here, it has a little bit of a texture. If I can hear it, right? And then there's this one here, which is a little bit on the red tone, like a red nara. And so the good thing about this, you will not have any anai, you will not have any um, water damage. It's gonna be like almost forever. It's a forever wood. So this year, I don't know why it's here, but since it's here, I'll talk about it anyway. This is a white marble. It's like, it got lost. What's this doing here? But anyway, white marble, obviously, I don't have to tell you what it's for. You can use it for floor, you can use it for walls. So all kinds of white, they cost between 4,000 to sky's the limit. If you're gonna buy a Kalakata, oh my gosh, you cannot afford it. That's, if you're the Sultan of Brunei, you can buy it. But basically that's 65,000. But normal marble, you can buy it for 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 per square meter. It all depends what kind. It's just like a watch. I mean, you ask, why is a watch Seiko only 10,000? But a Rolex is a uh, 1 million. Then a Piaget is like 5 million. Then a RM is uh, 50 million. That's the way it is with marble also. You can get 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 7, 25. 50, it all depends on the rarity and the clarity. Because I mean, you can get like uh, a white marble, which will have Magbulo vein, maybe like the one in Romblon, that'll only be two five to 3,000. If you buy something from China, might be in the five, something from uh, Italy, on the low end can be six, seven, because it's a little bit of a gray background. It all depends on your uh, capability to, and your price, the price points that you're expecting. So it all has to do with your, you know, we don't discriminate. We are, we're here to match you with the material that you need with your, the budget uh, satisfied. I mean, we're not gonna give you uh, Solaire, like the casino, you know, which is gonna be 50,000 per square meter, because that's what you're expecting there. But you know, we do even uh, normal Carrara, which can be in the 7,000 peso range, and even cheaper. So. Let me show you now on the bottom row, okay? So these are called cobblestone, okay? So these are used for driveways. Now what people do here, they install it, and then you can have it for a ramp, you can have it in your parking area, and then basically will surround your house, wherever the cars will drive, with these kinds of materials. So obviously, you have different colors, uh, depending on your color tone. Like, more modern, they use this, this one. It's all close joint. For a more traditional type, maybe it'll be something like this. This is like a hand cut. Uh, this is what you call hand cut on four sides. This is hand cut, this is machine cut. This is flamed. So you'll notice this is like a split face, meaning the, the stone was cut in half and achieved this effect. This one here is flamed. So they take a granite, and then they apply a heat on it, then this surface will be uh, developed. So this one here is hand, hand chip. So they take a block, they hammer it, hammer it, hammer it, until you achieve this sort of like handmade look. So these are for driveways. We're talking three five to four five per square meter. So this one here is uh, it's actually our, it may be unassuming, this is for swimming pools. So you may not realize it, but we use this underwater. Google online, Bali, Bali Green, uh, Sukabumi, Batu Hijau. That is the color that you get. And it's like exactly what you're gonna get in Indonesia. So that is our, our first rack at World Bex. Uh, we've got many more to go. So try to come. If you were not able to come here, uh, well, it's online and you can refer to it anytime. Just take a screenshot, send it to us. We'll give you pricing. We'll give you sizes, availabilities, and stuff like that. So come visit us, uh, kaufmanstone.com. See us at our, at our showroom at uh, BGC, Pasikar San Juan.
Okay, see you guys.